So we had this epic mountain bike adventure planned for this week's episode, but then Mother Nature had a different idea and this happened. with the cinematic coffee. <laughs> Let's get to the point of why we're here today. And that's why exactly we do this. Mm -hmm. Over the last four years that Sweet Pea and I have been together, we've went through a ridiculous number of hobbies. Yeah, ridiculous. Let's see here, there was slacklining, climbing, mountain biking. He tried to get me into running. That oh. one did not go very well for us. That was bad. <laughs> Skiing, pretty much anything that was out in the mountains, we wanted to go out and do it. Um, and now, lately, it's been CrossFit and YouTube. Yeah, and granted, CrossFit is still a huge daily part of our lives. Mm -hmm. Obviously, YouTube is as well, and we still dabble in mountain biking, but about two years ago, Sweet Pea and I decided that our life in the suburbs just wasn't what we had envisioned for ourselves. So after owning our first place for about a year, we decided to sell mm -hmm. and move to the mountains somewhere. So we ended up picking Evergreen because our access to the big mountains was way more convenient. The trail access that we would have right outside of our door was phenomenal. And quite frankly, our second option was Alaska. Yeah. And after doing some research, I realized that like half the year it was dark and cold. And- He's scared of the dark, so. You're not, you're not supposed to tell people I'm scared well, of the you dark. You are, so that's I'm, the honest truth. But anyway, <laughs> we picked Evergreen because Alaska was dark and cold. And quite frankly, in Alaska, we wouldn't have jobs. Yeah. But Opie, can we finish the rest of this conversation out on the porch so we can watch the snow? Sure. Come on. I love it in here. It's so cozy and peaceful. It's just my happy place. <laughs> so <clears throat> back to the story. So although we loved Evergreen, and Obi was right, it was great trail access, quicker access to the big mountains, we still really found ourselves getting lost in like the daily grind. And that just wasn't working for us. And so once again, we put our house up on the market. Cause I decided to play the real estate game. After a year of, not even a year of living in it. And now we moved into our, what we hope is our forever home. And don't get me wrong, I'm really glad we made the decisions that we did with the whole real estate market and we played it while the prices were good and we could. And honestly, if we waited a few years until we had kids and tried to find a house to accommodate, I honestly don't think we would have been able to do it. But the fact of the matter is we lost sight of what was important to us. And that was weekend adventures. When we first met, Opie and I went on a weekend adventure every weekend that I had off. And it was incredible. There's always something to look forward to. And we just stopped doing that. Yeah, so it really kind of started affecting our moods. Like we mm -hmm. both kind of felt like something was missing. So I dove back into photography thinking that I needed a creative outlet instead of just competitive. And occasionally I would take Sweet Pea along and when I didn't feel like that was working, I brought Sweet Pea along to be my model and I started a whole nother Instagram 
shameless plug, Fables by Photos, and Mark underscore Barnhart Photography. Links in the description. <laughs> but we were doing something together, but we were on two opposite sides of the camera, so we weren't really doing something together. Right. And speaking of doing something together, I just heard the laundry beep, and I need to go do that. I have to take care of it, otherwise it's gonna end up smelling. And if I don't, it's gonna sit in there forever. It's, it's true. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back in just a second, guys. So, one night we were watching TV, and Opie pauses it, and he goes, Sweet Pea, I've got an idea. Let's start a YouTube channel. And at first, I was super skeptical. I was like, this is just gonna be one of those fads that we go in and don't finish, like the list in the beginning of the video. Yeah, but this time my idea was different. If we could commit to just two adventures a month and commit to making a video on every one of those adventures and uploading it to the YouTube channel, then we'd have no choice but to stick to it. When I set a schedule, I like to stick with it. I'm kind of structured like that. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I think it's worked. Um, he's not paying me to say this. Our moods have changed. We have something to look forward to, like a big adventure or even just a little adventure down the road to the state park. Yeah, and it just really keeps us in check that there's so much more to life than just the nine to five. There's so much more to see than the same stretches of road that we drive every day. It's, it's really easy, guys, to get caught up in constantly making more money, to buy more possessions. But I know it's a little cliche, but possessions and money don't buy happiness. Experiences do. And, you know, I know this has been a little long-winded, but in all honesty, if this resonates with just one person and gets them out having adventures with their loved ones, then honestly, we think it's worth it. Yeah, we're passionate about it. Very. So just remember guys, get out of your daily routine, get out of your comfort zone, and go explore the world. Buy experiences instead of buying possessions, and go see what there is out there. Even if it's just in your hometown, you never know what you're gonna discover. Yeah, so that does it for us this week, guys. Remember, if you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe below. It really does make a difference. And by the time that you all see this one, we're going to be on our next big adventure, and we're really, really excited to bring you along for this one. So until next time, keep enjoying every step of your journey. Yeah. Okay. Go. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> and so... <laughs> <laughs> I can't be a movie star. <laughs>